get used to the idea that the Republican Party is gone. It's gone. It will not be our second major party in our country in the future. There will be another party that will have to emerge. We, we need it. I, I mean, it's actually a danger for a two-party system to only have one party that's interested in the democracy. It's really fucking dangerous. It's really fucking dangerous for the future of our country. So we we need we need reasonable people who will set reasonable policy. And I believe it's a hell of an opportunity for people who consider themselves conservative out there. Or even independent or right leaning, you know. It gives them opportunity to really think about what platforms that they would like to stand on. And I believe this election is going to give them an idea on what platforms they will not be able to stand on. That they will not be able to build a major party. A major party will not be built in this country that stomps on people's rights. Including and not limited to women's rights to fucking health care. The LGBTQ communities to fucking exist. OK. The ability for black and brown people not to be living in this country as if they're in a foreign country, you fucking assholes. This is their fucking country, too. So going forward, we need to make sure that this election has the biggest mountain of votes against MAGA. And the reason why is because we not only need to send a signal to MAGA. That <laughs> you are not welcome. You're not welcome in our fucking governments. You're not welcome to make decisions for us. This is a representative democratic constitutional republic, and you represent us, and your ideas don't. So we're not going to have you doing it anymore. We're going to present someone who is interested in advancing democracy, who is interested in not ostracizing certain groups of people and not focused solely on genitalia. And, and how much of a piece of property a woman can be Not at all. It, it's sometimes how parties work, and we experience that. But opposition to someone receiving rights, that makes you a fucking fascist, okay? The opposition of you, the, when you're in opposition of someone receiving their God-given rights as they want to you know, portray them. That's not opposition of democracy. That's not opposition of this republic. That's not proper opposition in our.